you know, we all have different ways of staying warm, Keith. I've got my foot warmer insoles. And you have that beautiful jacket that you're wearing yes. today. And the jacket would be enough because it obviously is in great style for the moment. But can you show us the lining? <laughs> 17, sorry, <laughs> 7. You can't mistake who owns this jacket. That's the greatest lining since Jerry's <laughs> pink and white striped lining on his suede jacket on Seinfeld. <laughs> or the Riddler. <laughs> the nice number seven to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's a new one. I like it. Oh, that's outstanding. So this was when my headset went dead in the last half inning. You can see the panic on my face. I, am I can't hear anything. I'm totally unaware. And at first I tried to steal Ronnie's headset. You did. I took your box. That's right. Then I found the spare box. There you go. And you're handing me your headset. Okay, because I thought we, needed, we just needed you to be on air again. Well. I was going to take an inning off. <laughs> people, people could wait. And Keith has no idea what's going it's on. It's like, what the heck is going on here? By the way, I got scammed this morning. I almost got scammed. No. Yes. Tell? I got an email with the FPL, which is Florida Power and Light logo that said you are did not pay a down payment of X amount of dollars and we are going to turn off, we sent a guy out today, if it's not paid within 30 minutes, we're going to set your power down. 30 minutes! 30 minutes? And I, and I, I, put, I bit the hook. You fell for that? And I called the guy. Segura gets in front of McNeil's ground ball. Go on. I, I called I call the number like an idiot, <laughs> and I'm listening to this guy, and then finally I snap. I said, I've been a, I, I go, I know you are a monopoly. Okay, you've had, I've, been, I've been here for 20 some year plus years, I pay on time, and you're going to send a guy out and shut my power down in 30 minutes? That is baloney! Can I ask you one question, <laughs> Keith? The guy you got on the phone, was he a Nigerian prince? No, he wasn't. He, he had a uh, he had a Spanish accent, and I just snapped on him. You know, sometimes TV magic doesn't work as magically as we hope it would. You know, we we show we show you this shot, and you think, well, this is a pristine shot from some um, you know blocked off location, making sure that nothing gets in the shot. But you know, if I stand up, <laughs> oh, Gary, Gary, <laughs> Gary, sit down, Gary. <laughs> And one to count him. All right, let us stand up here. See? It's like Mold Larry and Curly. Well, the real Gary Cohen, please stand up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I know this will surprise you, but they're still serving Skyline Chili in Cincinnati. In fact, they had them in the press room tonight. They did indeed. Did you partake? Well, I passed today. Not that I have anything against Skyline Chili, I've had it. I just didn't feel like uh, taking a risk. Well, it's like I told Ronnie last year, you have to try it once. I think I've said my piece on the subject. Yeah, well, actually. I mean. There's very real little benefit in saying any more, but I, I do believe that my comments it, last year might have boosted sales. Oh, yeah, I think they're going to again because look at it. I mean, they take such great care of it. It's a lot of cheese, by the way. <laughs> if you like the cheese. A lot of cheese. <laughs> last night hit one on the second deck in right field. Yeah, he really belted that one. Oh, nice. Really cinched it. He's been in the car for like three hours. He's been thinking about it. There's the shift. Not going to bunt when you're up 10 nothing. There's a bug right on the infield. It's it's moving in from the mound. It's heading toward the plate. It's veering off toward third base. Oh, it's making a beeline for the catcher. <laughs> Some might, some might argue that's the best bug we use every <laughs> any night. <laughs> it's heading for the wall. It's out of here. The bug is out of here. <laughs> July 9th, Keith Hernandez's number 17 will be retired in a pregame ceremony starting at 3.30 p.m. The first 25,000 fans will receive the first of the Gary, Keith, and Ron Bobblehead series presented by Verizon and SNY. For tickets, go to Mets.com slash tickets. Series? Series. It's three 
separate bobbleheads, all of which connect together. So if you come to all cool. three games, you get all three bobbleheads. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, I guess. I, I don't. I haven't seen them yet. I, oh, I have not. No. Just trying to figure out where they connect. Well, you know, he might take up a little more room now with the number retired. He always takes up more room. <laughs> When you calling me a fathead? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just saying your stature after the retirement of your number. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's true to life, I mean, who spreads out more than Keith does? <laughs> I will let you know that the New York Times, I believe they're going to use it on July 9th, my retirement date. They've reached out to Ellie at SNY, and they're going to do a Keith Hernandez New York Times crossword puzzle. A special one just for you? Yes, and they're gonna, I'm going to have to talk to them, and they're going to find out information about me. How about that? That is awesome. Is that terrific? I mean, it would be great enough just to have a clue with your I just found name that. attached to I it, but to have an entire puzzle yes. put together for you, that's just beyond. <laughs> Ellie just got emailed me today. I just found out. I'm sure those numbers will be involved somewhere. What will 17 across and 37 across be? <laughs> Can I just say, I would be greatly honored if I made it into your crossword puzzle. <laughs> well, the bullpens are in right center field, but Joely Rodriguez has decided to find his own bullpen out by the, um, the rock outcropping in center field. Just off by himself with a little hydration. Got a little bit of sunshine there. I think he's going to start a fire soon and make some s'mores. <laughs> Maybe tell some ghost stories to himself. <laughs> yes. Gotta wait till it gets dark. It's a nice little perch there, though. It's got a lot better view than the guys in the bullpen. So here we are again. The Mets uh, stroking out eight hits. Yeah. Stroke. Did you say stroking, stroking out? Stroking out. Yes. <laughs> it's a baseball stroke. I, I think you need to watch your language there, because. Because, you know, we're getting older, and stroking out is something we don't want to be doing. What do you say? I'm a creepy old man? No, 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 no. <laughs> I think you're missing the point here. That's a baseball stroke. No, but, but from a medical standpoint, you know what stroking out oh. means? <laughs> you know, oh, my. my mind goes... <laughs> My mind goes places where you don't want to say bleeding out and you don't want to say stroking out. <laughs>